It's been almost nine months since a bridge collapsed during the 100-year storm in the Enfield Green subdivision, preventing neighborhood residents from getting to and from their homes. That bridge still stands unrepaired today. We're waiting. We're not getting the, the answers that we really want, but in the meantime, this is what we have. As a short-term fix, Public Works officials created an access road for the neighborhood. Residents say the department agreed to help, saying it could be covered under federally funded road repairs. But now the question of ownership clouds the issue. We sat down with the government. They told us that um, there was one glitch. The law didn't define true ownership to the government as to all the waterways in the United States Virgin Islands and that that was where they're getting the problem because the roads here, the surface, are privately owned. The homeowners say though the roads are privately owned, the culvert is not. And if that problem is not addressed, Enfield residents won't be the only ones affected. The culvert, mind you, is not Enfield Greens. It's the government's, even though it's not defined as there, theirs in the law. It's jam-packed with shrubbery and everything else you could think about. And this is something that's concerning because it's not just the residents in here who is exposed to any flooding, but people upstream from this estate. It's rainy days like this one these residents dread, not knowing whether or not this temporary road will hold, and if it doesn't, can help get to them quickly. We're not asking them to fix our roads. We just ask them to address the culvert, and we'll go from there. You know, it's, it's something that's life-threatening. And I would hate to know that we wait until somebody die or somebody get injured because of this. Erica Parsons, News 2.